My brave Zeus just chased off a, a bird. So nice of him. Not really, I like birds, but look at the sky. Oh, there's the bird. Uh, and next next day after this snowfall, we had about, I think it was about minus seven or so for the uh, temperature Celsius. A little below freezing. So everything's crunchy today, quite crunchy and dry. It is a dry, dry day. Um, Ah, this sky looks so amazing. I had to set up a time lapse. Because holy smokes, it's just a gorgeous day. Everybody's looking at me. I've already checked food. Everybody's good for food. Hello, camera. Let's put these away. So, yeah. Not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing today. <clears throat> it's a little... See, the problem when it gets um, sort of snowy and then icy for the horses <clears throat> is that the ground gets really uh, choppy and hard and stuff. So if we go into the arena and see, it doesn't uh, crunch down too well. I mean, it is a little bit, uh, but it's quite, well, yeah, see, all these bits here yeah, it's really rough so you kind of <laughs> when I put them out in the in the in the snowy conditions I'm always sort of in the back of my head I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to use the arena tomorrow because it's not smooth at all it's really hard you don't want to like, have them running around in conditions where it's just it's just nuts like this so um, if anything, I'd probably put out one at a time kind of thing. What are you guys doing? I have a suggestion from Bonnie to come out with a broom. Knock this stuff off. Mm-hmm. Problem is, Bonnie, things like 20 feet in the air. I need a really big broom. So I'm going to leave that alone. But thanks for the suggestion. So um, yeah, we've got Zeus here. We're going to uh, do the usual, clean up, take care of things, make sure everybody's good. Uh, we're supposed to get some rain in a couple of days, so it's going to get warm really fast. Anyways, so let's get on with things here, and uh, with any luck, I'll be back with something interesting. It's chilly but it's a dry chili, so it's kind of nice. It's crisp. Okay, let's move on. The sun's coming out. Just a gorgeous morning. Okay, I thought about something that I want to do, and we, oh, look at this icicle. That is incredible. I love icicles. They're all along the line here. Neat. Okay, so I thought of an idea uh, to show you guys because we did start this a while ago um, and I said, well, when it gets to freezing level, we're going to check out these. <laughs> Zeus loves it out here. He's so happy, as you guys saw in the last video. But we've got to get the um, this water tub thing. So I placed it here with the help of David. And uh, so we're going to try to fill this thing up a little bit after putting it on there and then go and uh, do some waters for the horses. 
just the back ones because the hose is totally frozen. So, holy smokes, it is bright. Okay, so let's get on with that. I've got to go get a bit of a hose. We'll come back, start the gator. Well, I guess we'll start the gator. Now, I think I'm a little worried. Uh, yeah, totally frozen. Okay, I've got some hot water going and uh, we're going to defrost some stuff. Not this guy. Stay frosty, buddy. Looking good. Where is it? Go get it. Go get something. Go get something. Go. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of running around. Okay, hose, water, hot water, defrost some stuff, get the gator started. Let's do this. I bet I'm gonna have trouble right here. Mm, yeah. Gator. Thought so. Let's charge the battery. Hmm. What happened there? Waiting on that. Let's uh, let's get the hose hooked up. <laughs> okay, next problem. The uh, outlet is frozen. God, you know, cold weather just causes so many issues. How am I going to do this? Just splash it up there, I guess. Ugh. Can you hear it cracking? Oh, there's a dead mosquito in there. I don't know if you guys would be able to see that. Probably not. Okay, no movie move yet. Oh, there it goes a little bit. It's 
get a little more hot water in there. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Cool. Tackling one problem at a time. This is what I always try to try to teach. You gotta just fix things as you go. Battery's charging. Probably start this thing up by now. Key's frozen again. There we go. Yes! Alright. Right, Zeus? I gotta warm this thing up. All right. Like every tool I ever touch, I just kind of put it back where I found it. Generally not the place where it belongs. Okay, let's get this gator warmed up and uh, slide that sucker on. Just a gorgeous day. Well, it's on, but holy smokes, look at my table. That didn't work out well. Just didn't expect me to get stuck to the pallet. But it's on, let's get on with the next step. One thing after another, hands are cold.
Okay. Smartest cookie in the bar in here. <sighs> okay, well, I got some water in. It's kind of looking like I got enough for now. Now the last problem is how to get the water out and into the bucket. Now I haven't gone ahead and thought too much on how to attach something to that. So that's my next problem to solve. All right. Okay, so the guy that sold me this thing also brought this little thing here. I didn't want to use this because it just goes down to this little tiny bit, but uh, I didn't do anything else, so we're going to have to settle for this. Should be good. Guess we should test it before we go anywhere. Oh, geez. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's go water some horses. I don't know if this is worth the trouble anymore. <laughs> Need the hose. Okay, first stop for water delivery. Everything still looks good, kind of sloshy, but it's staying in. Actually, this is already a one up because if I had to bring buckets down here, those things would be sloshed and everywhere. I'd be losing water everywhere. Okay, let's see how Peggy's doing. She's busting holes and obviously drinking because there's that big, huge gap. So, what we're going to do is we're going to completely clean this bucket out and fill it up as long as the gator is higher than the yeah it should just gravity you know all right let's do this hi piggy just coming in to deal with your water Be here for a little while. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't the ideal. Yeah, but it works. Peaceful. Enjoy a little quiet time. Maybe, maybe pet some horses. Hey guys. You know I'd probably be smart to have a wheelbarrow or a rake with me. Keep busy. 
I should have enough time to actually go get it. Yeah, we'll be a bit. Almost full. Probably at about 15 minutes. So this method is a little slow to what I thought it would be, which I was originally calculating something like 50 seconds. Yeah, almost full. But you know, once I replace this bit here and make it this big, or even this big, I'm going to the hardware store today, get this worked out. I like it, it's working, it's successful. Okay, this is done here, just about. And uh, I've already cleared off those guys over there. And so I'm gonna fill them up and come back for a little conclusion maybe. This is successful. I like it. This is a good method. Ooh, starting to snow again. You guys will be able to tell. Okay, we're back over the top. I'm gonna drain this sucker out. So I put it on a little bit of a tilt, which actually is super handy. And just uh, have the water come out. I don't want a bunch of water freezing in the, inside this thing. So, uh, conclusions on this method of watering horses. It's effective, it works. Um, I'm definitely going to go to the hardware store because this, this is terrible, this is pathetic. This is not big enough. I want it to come out of something this big. I want to be able to fill a bucket in a minute. By the way, it did it. I was able to kind of clean up back there and get some stuff done. Uh, method of operation for getting this thing onto the gator has got to change. I'm going to make a dedicated rack for this, something that will make it slippy slidey. Because the pallet is... Well, it's frozen to it. And I think I might make just a basic cover for the top because taking that snow off the top was a pain. Things I didn't really think about also... Uh, charge the battery. <laughs> Winter. It's so much fun. Anyway, everybody's waters are done. I've even done the guys at the top. Look at this nice and clean and, and all watered up and eating and everybody's quiet and content. It's starting to snow again. I'm gonna warm up, grab a nice warm coffee, maybe a, maybe a sandwich. Kind of hungry. That's it for me for now. That was a good experiment. You gotta admit, you can't, can't hurt, it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, I'm happy with that, so that's it for now. Hopefully it's been kind of informative for another idea for anybody that has to water some horses and they're a little bit ways away. If you at least have something that can carry a container like that, works great, works a treat. Easy to fill, you just fill it, drive it down and empty it. Okay, so the next time I use this thing, I'm going to be more refined. So look forward to that one day. Okay, horses are good, everybody's good, it's chilly, beautiful, all the same. <laughs>